we did for Rowan's birthday where she did 26 facts about her. I'm going to be doing the same thing and giving you guys some facts about me, I guess. So 23. 23. 20, yeah, 23. I'm, I'm not 26. I look like I'm 17, though. <laughs> I really do, Which right? is a good thing. Fact number one, I go by, like, multiple names. I feel like oh, you yeah. guys, <laughs> like, know this already, but, like, okay, my real, like, Arabic pronounced name is Yasmin, but, like, in America, like nobody like pronounces it that way. So I go by either Yasmin or some people pronounce it Yasmin in like work or school. And then like my really close family and friends call me Mina. That's why you hear Rowan calling me Mina. So I have like seven different names. Everybody knows you by Mina yeah. though. So you, got, yeah. you guys are my close friends and family. So Mina got her undergrad in... Are you kidding? You just looked at it! Mina got her undergrad in English and Education, and she's currently doing her graduate degree yes. in what, Mina? In English Literature. You don't know this? Oh I do know this. Some friend right here, guys. <laughs> yes. And you're still thinking about going for your doctorate. I'm thinking about it, but I'm kind of like, really? More school? <laughs> More school. I know, because I'm always complaining about <laughs> More it. More study? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Is that, you, that better be a fact about you. It's not, but just throw it in out there. Um, like, Mina is the biggest complainer But I complain about work. everything. It's not just school. Like, it's, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> I don't want to go to class. Like, it's literally like everything. I don't want to go to this party. Like, yeah. That's, that's like my life. <laughs> when I was younger, my two favorite TV shows were Scooby Doo and Rugrats. Yeah, I remember that. On April Fool's Day, my mom was like, oh my god, Scooby Doo on Zombie Island is on TV. And that was like my favorite Scooby Doo film. And I went down there and it wasn't on. And she's like, April Fool's. And I was like, six. Oh, what? And I literally started crying. And I was like, how could you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Aunt Judy. I know, Aunt Judy, mom. <laughs> Nina is obsessed with everything to do with horror, whether it be TV shows, movies, books. So because I love horror so much, two of the classes that I took in my undergrad were actually like horror related. So I took a zombie literature class and I took a horror film class and it was in the same semester. So that was like the best semester ever. So I also took a lot of film classes like what was it, like Film 100 and then the horror film class. And then I also took screenwriting, so I really, really like film in general. She critiques films. Okay, not for like a living. No, but the way you should do it for a living because the way you critique them, it's like, whoa, like, okay, I, I did not think of it like that. I literally just like tweet things about movies. Like, that's what I do. <laughs> no, but I read your little critique on La La Land to Beer and I'm like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> that was when I was angry because she didn't like the movie, and how could you not like La La Land? Nina has actually written a full-length screenplay! I'm so proud of myself! That was like the first full-length film that I wrote. Like, I've written like short films for my class, but I was really inspired by La La Land, so speaking of that, that inspired me to write. You should send it to Stephen King, since you- It's, not a, it's not a horror movie, though. Oh. I talked to him? What do you mean I talked to him? <laughs> I've never spoken to Stephen King in my life! <laughs> What are you talking about? I thought he like answered you on Twitter. That was Wes Craven. Oh, Stephen okay. Stephen King's an author. Oh, okay, okay. How could you not know? I just really like to write in general, so I even like to write papers, uh, which is like, she's like, no. I, I really like, yeah, I really like writing papers. I like writing. Because she's really good at it. That's like my only talent though. No, so like, what? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You're good at critiquing movies. That's like the same Anything thing. Anything to do with movies or books, that's like Mina's passion. It is my yeah. passion. Even though Mina's a big horror fan, her favorite TV show of all time is Grey's Anatomy. It is, guys. She's actually gotten me into Grey's Anatomy, and I've watched all, what is it, 12 seasons now? Okay, but you, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, because you went yeah, back. Yeah, I did. I went back and I watched those first two seasons, okay? Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, I got her into it, but like literally... She can I, watch it over. I'm on my third cycle of like re-watching it because I love it so much. It's just such a comforting show, y'all. Really? Yeah. Comforting? I it is comforting. It is comforting because it's like you struggle in your life and then they're struggling there, so you have like mutual... Oh, okay. You know I mean? She actually had like a conversation with this old couple. <laughs> 
in a cafe. Like she was wearing the Grey's Anatomy sweatshirt, yeah. and her hus like the woman's husband like noticed it, and he like pointed it out to his wife, and she had like a full blown conversation. It was like three seconds, people. but they were like, "Isn't it a great show?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I really like iced lattes. <laughs> like I, I don't know why. I just, I, I just really like them." When Mina's alarm rings, regardless of if she's tired or not, she will wake up. Yeah, like I don't hit snooze ever. Like I'm just like. I think it's just the noise that bothers me, so I need to like stop it, and then I'm just like, all right, let me get it. So usually when I finish reading a book, I feel like a lot of people like to do this, but I like to like research like what other people think about it. Mm -hmm. So I'll watch like reviews on YouTube, or I'll look up like people's theories on Google, and I'll just like read about it just because I like to know what other people think. I've always wanted to be like a part of a movie, like not even like being an actress or like being a screenwriter, like just anything. Like I would get the people coffee. I just feel like I would want to be a part of the filming process. Mina's favorite film directors are Wes Craven, David Nolan. <laughs> She's combining them now. <laughs> Wes Craven, David Fincher, and Christopher Nolan. There you go. Yeah. I used to have like the biggest celebrity crush on Killian Murphy. So if you guys don't know, he is Scarecrow in the Batman series, and he's also in Inception. And Red Eye. And Red Eye. This is how I got into horror movies, because there was a time when like I would literally only watch, like there was a, it was a month, it was only a month, like Killian Murphy films. I was like, I cannot watch anything unless Killian Murphy is in it. So he was in Red Eye, so I watched that, and then the director of that was Wes Craven. So then I was like, oh, like I really like the way this movie was filmed or whatever. Let me see what other movies Wes Craven has filmed. And then he filmed Scream, and Scream became like one of my all-time favorite films. And then from Scream, because they referenced so many different horror movies in that, I was like, I want to watch all these movies that were referenced in Scream. And then I just like branched out. Mina has the entire to be or not to be soliloquy memorized from Hamlet. To do it. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There is the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? I'm just gonna stop there. What? Fact number 17 is Disney related. So Woo! 17. 17. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> okay. So this is probably like an unpopular opinion, but I just really love like the future world portion of Epcot. Like it's one of my favorite like parts of Disney World in general. Mina can watch Star Wars, the original trilogy, and the Jurassic Park movies over and over again and she will not get bored of them. And if they come on TV, even though she has the, the Blu-rays of them, she will stop whatever she's doing and she will watch that movie. Yes, I will. Aliens creep me out. Okay. But like, I don't know if I believe in them. I still like like alien movies. Like I'll still oh, watch okay. alien movies. I like the alien franchise, but they creep me out. Like the fourth kind. Oh my that God. Is creepy. I am God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Mina is disgusted and I'm not like it's not just like ooh that's gross like she's literally disgusted she will refuse to sit at booths in a restaurant she says they gross her out because like food gets stuck <laughs> A table. But you no, know, if we're forced to sit in a booth and that's all we have, but she'll I'll be sit sitting at the end. Yeah, I'll be uncomfortable <laughs> and I'll just be like, Ugh. So in my undergrad, like the highlight of my existence, I had two professors that like read my papers out loud oh, yeah. to the class and like, I don't know, like I said, it was the highlight of my existence. Well, obviously, because they're recognizing your work. Mina has a Chucky doll in her bedroom and I don't understand why. <laughs> because I like child's play, that's why. And but like, it's staring at you. But it's not even that creepy. It's creepy. It's, it's creepy. creepy you should have brought it with you. It's pretty I creepy. I should have, but it's like raining outside. And you don't want to get it wet. Yeah, and I keep it in the box. Because then it'll come and die. <laughs> <laughs> my ultimate dream, or like one of my ultimate dreams, is to become a professor and to teach my own like horror literature class. That's like one of my dreams. I feel like you can do it. But I have to be like a PhD to do that. So you need to get your doctorate. 
Yeah. I love how one fact in all of this <laughs> is about Disney. <laughs> Because I feel like we've talked about Disney so much that yeah. you guys know all of my Disney preferences. You know my favorite rides, my yeah. favorite foods, my favorite restaurants. That's true. So these are just random facts. Yes. Yeah. These are things that you wouldn't know because we don't talk about these things on the channel. I got myself a little pre-early birthday gift and it is an unboxing. Again, it's not Disney related, but we figured because it's the only video that we're going to do that's like not really Disney related that I would open it on camera. So this is the Nocturnal Readers box and it's a box that specializes in, sorry, like horror or sci-fi books. And then they give you like two books and then a few bookish items along with it. So the theme of this box is corporate overlords, which is basically like giant companies that are like corrupt. So the first thing that's inside here is this little like beach towel, I guess it is. And it has a little quote from um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I haven't read yet, but I do own. And it says, don't panic. The next item is um, the Paper Street Soap Company Soap. So this brand is from the movie or the book Fight Club, which I did read and watch and like. A Jurassic Park pin. Yeah. So it's a Velociraptor and it has like the little DNA strand around it from Jurassic Park. And then the next item is um, socks with the company from Jurassic Park on it, which is InGen. Oh, so that's cool. cool. And I love socks, so. She does. This is a little like notebook journal with um, the company name Southern Reach on it, which is the book series that I'm currently reading, which I recommend. It's the Southern Reach trilogy. So then the other two things in here are the books. So one of them I started reading, and that is this paperback copy of Normal, and it's by Warren Ellis. And the other thing is a hard um, copy. Yeah, hard a cover. hardcover copy of like a new release book. And this one is called Born by Jeff Vandermeer. And I noticed when I opened it that I got oh my like God. a little card. I don't know if you guys can see this with his signature on it. So oh, that's nice. really cool. And then the last thing that's in here is just like an art print. They give like a creepy print. That is so creepy. I know it is creepy in every box. Are you gonna put that in your room? Um, I might, maybe I'll just put it on my bookshelf somewhere, but it's like this creepy like bear, bear animal half robot like I don't know I think it's from a book it was $40 but then I had to pay $8 shipping. for shipping so it came to like almost $50 so I don't know if I would purchase a one-time box again unless it was like a theme that I'm super like interested in but $35 for this is definitely worth it I'm wearing an oh yeah Disney apparel oh, shirt yeah. it's the silhouette of uh, Princess Aurora and I'm wearing Jasmine's ears from this DF love um, and this is the Aurora ears. They're pink and then they have her crown in the middle. And I'm wearing a shirt that says, I can't even get up. It says, welcome foolish mortals, but it's in the Stranger Things font. And it, I, it's a shirt that I've been like after for a long time. And it's from the Lost Bros trading company, which is like really famous for their Disney t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And when I finally like was able to buy it, I just felt so good. <laughs> And then these ears are Rowan's, but they're the Mind Train ears. They're the Mind Train ears from, uh, I think it's called Katie's Sweet Boutique or something like that. I'll, I'll put all the links yes. down below. Good so time. wish her a happy birthday. She's 23, but she looks 17. <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know some interesting facts about you guys that maybe aren't Disney related or are Disney related. We don't care. We just like to talk to everybody. We really do. We really do. Like your comments make our lives. So we wanted to do this um, new tradition, I guess, at the end of our videos where we sort of shout out a YouTuber, a Disney YouTuber that we watch yes. um, and that we love. Just so you guys have, have ideas of other YouTubers that, that you are out there in the world. So we want to shout out Pixie Dust Productions, who goes by Ashlyn. No, it's Ashlyn who goes by <laughs> Pixie Dust <laughs> Productions. That's what I mean. I don't want to speak. I should go by Ashlyn. That's like her name. Yeah, okay. So whatever. Oh, yeah. We're messing this up. <laughs> Alright, so Ashlyn has a YouTube channel called Pixie Dust Productions and it has all Disney content. She is adorable. I've actually started talking to her like one-on-one -on -one through messages and she's going to Disney soon in July and she's going to be celebrating her birthday there. And we've just been like bonding over like Disney and 
yeah, I would really give her channel a watch because she is adorable. Yes, if you so don't she, already. Because, if you don't already. Yeah. Yeah, she's, you probably do because yeah. she's just so adorable. She is. But yeah. And she's beautiful. She is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, adorable, sweet, the whole package. So, so that's our recommendation. Go watch her right now. Her link is down below. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, have a magical day. Bye. Okay. <laughs> she goes by Ashlyn. Oh my.